Why did he pursue black and white through at least three? Well, I don't know exactly, you know, it's a sort of subjective. I, um, I know when I was really small, a child, I was interested in the oldest movies that were on TV, like the ones that were the furthest removed from me historically were the most fascinating. I'm not sure why, but they seemed more magical, more mysterious, the, the old cars, the way people dressed. And so that black and white thing was really instilled in me. And it's such a beautiful thing, black and white cinema, and it's so, so big a part of the history of cinema that certain stories that I had in my head, like Stranger Than Paradise and Down By Law and Dead Man, I saw them from the very beginning, while, even before writing the script, in black and white. So I just stick to that, you know? And I had trouble, especially with Dead Man. Um, I never got enough money to really properly make the film. Um, and people invest potentially, potential investors in the film would say, we'll, we'll give you more if you make it in color. But I said, no, it's a black and white film, you know? So I had to really stick to my guns in that way. But black and white is, you know, it gives you less information. And that can be very magical in a way. Um, it can leave more to your imagination. So certain things, I think, need to be told. Certain stories work better if they're told in black and white. And there are a lot of different ways to use black and white as well. So um, I don't know. I still love black and white. Different ways to use black and white would be? Yeah, black and white film materials. There are ver a variety of film stocks. There's different uh, gray scales within a, within a material. You can have a very subtle and varied palette of, of blacks and whites, or you can have a very harsh, contrasty black and white. Um, you, you, you have to light black and white in a very different way than color. For example, if you have a character who's standing in front of, say, a, a red wall, um, that character's skin tones and clothes are separated from the, the color, the field red. If it's black and white, then that, that background is gr a gray tone. So you have to light them in a different way to get the proper separation that you want of the, the physical person from their background. So you think differently in black and white. And uh, I had the great uh, experience of working on my third film, Down by Law, with Robbie Mueller, who I've worked with uh, consequently, who taught me a lot about thinking in black and white while shooting. And he's the first one that first person who gave me a, a contrast viewing filter to see the contrast and, and look at the scene as you're lighting it and, and get a sense of how it, the camera, the film material is going to read that and how it will be on the screen. So he taught me a lot about the beauty of black and white and the, different, uh, the difference in lighting it than lighting color. Of course, color too has an almost infinite number of varieties of ways to use it. But uh, black and white also, it's not just one, one thing. And I, I used to get very annoyed early on when people said, well, black and white is from the past. Why, why do you use that? We have color film now, you know? And to me, that was always like people saying, uh, the invention of photography means that there's no need for anyone to paint anymore, you know? Or it, since you have a computer, there's no need to write with a pencil or, you know? And these things are all just tools for expression. So uh, I'm not hierarchical about technology. I'm more interested in what carries your imagination to the form that you're using.